just as we're in here, and uh, this is weird saying this, but I, I'm actually going to start doing, or I don't know if I'm going to start doing this, but it, it's just my first episode of it, but this is a tutorial, if you don't read the title, I know I sound weird just because I just woke up, wanted to record this video, uh, edit it, and get it back up, but get it really up during the morning. So sorry if I do sound weird, I'll try to sound good, um, but other than that, um, if you can read the title, this is a tutorial how to, uh, with GoDaddy Minecraft, uh, with a GoDaddy domain, not hosting, you don't need hosting, uh, how to set up subdomains, for example, um, for example here, I will just make a text document and put it as in, it's for example, I'm going to put mc.example.com. And if your server has a port, the port would be port, or whatever is there at least. So it's that. I'm wondering how to set that up. Uh, you know, I was having issues and I couldn't really find that many videos that are actually helpful, but um. Let's, uh, hopefully this could help you guys. So, uh, the first thing you want to do is open your web browser. I use Google in choice. Uh, just head over on one to actually go to good GoDaddy, uh, um, go to GoDaddy domain names, yodaddy.com. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Once you've actually signed in and you've bought a domain, uh, just click launch and then where it says right here I'm not you I have two domains I own two of them uh, seamsherboy.com is my friends uh, if you want to go check it out twitch at you says seamsherboy I'll put that in the description because he's really cool dude but as of now I'm using, using Louis 45678.tv.com my choice so let's go ahead and click that once you're here, just go ahead and you're wondering, where do I go now? So, like, stay with me here. This gets very, very complicated. So go ahead and press DNS zone file to the right of settings. After you press that, you could edit stuff here. I don't know too much about it, so if for this tutorial, I use, use classic DNS manager. So if you want to and you want it to be easier on you, just click use it and uh, it will open another tab and you can close this if you'd like. Now, as you can see, I already have an example. So what we're going to add is what just, okay, sorry, my, my bad. I wasn't very example issues there. Um, so once you're here in the main A host area, uh, just actually just get the IP what you're going to need is the IP of a server for example I'm just going to use this random server I was testing so let's go ahead and do that I will delete this and we should be good I think and then we'll delete this and then we'll give me a second let me just save this just don't worry about what I'm doing as of now I'm just deleting some stuff all right so once you're in the a host here area than the first box press click add because it's a lot faster and type in what you want as the the first domain I guess would I would say so for example here this part I will put it in the brackets you don't need the brackets for example MC for example example um, you could do whatever you would want whatever for this video just to do this it's an example video I'm gonna use example dot louis four five six seven eight nine TV dot com so that's what I'm gonna be using example but you could use multiple like I said so let's hop over back to our browser and we'll type example do not put the dot don't put it just example but we're just how I put these here now we're gonna take that IP that I have I'm just going to copy and paste it. Uh, you don't need to put the port. I will show you if it doesn't work with. I, I will show you guys. Trust me. 
Alright, so after that's done, just click Save File Zone, click OK, click OK. It will say it might take 48 something hours, or it really doesn't take that long, so uh, yeah. So the next part's a little bit harder. Um, it's a little more complicated. I will put everything on the screen, like when I'm doing this part. So once you've done that and you refresh the page, press in the top left, add a record, select record, SREV service. Once you're here, uh, it's pretty simple, I guess, kind of. You just got to kind of pay attention here. So uh, the first one is underscore Minecraft. That will be on the screen. Next, the protocol is TCP. I'll put that on the screen as well. The name doesn't really matter. Uh, it's you're just naming it as if here. If you see where my cursor is, you're just naming to Minecraft server domain. So we're just going to put exam example test. Uh, okay, that doesn't really matter. So priority must be zero. The weight has to be a five. Now, for the port is your server port. So this is a random server. Like I said, I don't know the port. So I'm just going to put 25565. See what happens. For the to action, hold on. Yeah, we're going to put 25565. Now the target. This was where it, it matters but let me talk about the port a little bit more the port is usually something like servers will give you an ip then a port on the bottom with your multi-craft um it's very very simple how it works it's just like they'll give you a port for example ports two seven seven nine nine not two five five six five uh, this is just the default port that I'm using because yeah so the example that we're using I'm using in this video will be different than you guys uh, the reason is that is um, because uh, the is the target is what you put here not it's <laughs> It's kind of hard to explain, but it's not basically here. It just it's not this. It's this. Example dot five six seven nine tv dot com. So basically, just enter enter the IP as if what you wanted. Enter the IP where the target is for Minecraft. That's all you have to do. So if you want MC, just put MC dot. Just put MC dot. But do this video, we have an example. So it's example there. So just click OK. Click save zone file. Click OK. Uh, usually just give it a minute to. to uh, I'm just going to launch Minecraft here. And uh, see how that's good. this goes. So we're going to go to the 1.8.1. Because I, I think that's what it is. I might have missed to put the ports, but uh, you guys shouldn't get that. So let's go ahead and uh, open this. Um, Alright, so let's add a server address. Let's add an example. TV. Alright, so there it is. It didn't, it looks like we didn't, oh, oh, this is why I actually messed up, tv.com, that's my bad, and it works, there it is, it works, it works as the Minecraft server, uh, and I'm not sure, it's a weird Minecraft server that I just found and it works, it's like, I don't, I don't know what, it, what's up with it, like, I mean, you're just randomly here somewhere, so uh, I don't know. Sorry if I am, if you know the IP, but uh, yeah, it's right there, and boom, that's the IP. It works. Refresh. Like I said, it says wait an hour or two. It doesn't take that long. Uh, if it doesn't work, it should work if you followed all these certain steps. Now, I will help you guys here, and um, I will link you to. Uh, 
If you guys don't know, um, I will link you guys to a pacement basically saying uh, all the SRV, or you could just look it up at SRV for Minecraft. Uh, it's very simple. Just uh, any of these ones work. This one works as well. Any of them. Just it's pretty simple. Underscore Minecraft protocol. Uh, protocol. Protocol. Um, TCP. The name isn't really subdomain. That's actually incorrect. Just if you are using GoDaddy, just name it whatever you want. Uh, the name, yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, priority zero and the weight should be a five. So this is once again incorrect. So I will give you guys a pace spin. Uh, this one I'm actually going to be copy off. No way, P is the one. I don't want to copy off, just scroll down, all this stuff is stupid because they're using a different website, underscore will apply to automatically, that's a false statement, if you are using GoDaddy, this is because they're using the wrong website, but it would be underscore Minecraft, TCP is zero, priority zero, five, target Minecraft host name, so example, download 45679tv.com. That's example. TTTL, just leave it yeah, as default, doesn't matter, and then submit it. So I will put this in a basement for you guys after the video. But I hope that really helped you guys get a subdomain. It was a little hard for me. I did have to do about two and a half to three hours of research. And I hope one video takes like that takes about 11 minutes just to help you guys out and get this uh, server up and running with the subdomain. Your friends will thank you and stuff like that. By the way, I will be canceling the subdomains here so you guys can't connect to them. Uh, just a heads up. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, if you haven't, please subscribe and like for more, um, possibly more tutorials on this stuff. Especially because this is my first, actually, only my first two domains on a website. And no hosting at all. As you can see there, they're offering for hosting. I don't want hosting. I only want subdomains, which is really cool that I could get. So, hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh, yeah. Uh, please hit that like button if you guys, if it did help you. Hopefully it did help you. And if you need help, comment down below. I will help you guys right away. But, yeah. Peace, guys. I'll see you guys maybe later in the next tutorial. Bye.